Talk a little bit about Dan's Briarproof Clothing. I used to run this stuff years ago when I coon hunted. And I started out with the chaps with the muck boots sawn into it. I used it for many years. I had pretty good luck and success out of them. Especially for the thick wooded areas like West Virginia, North Carolina, Virginia, places like that. Always used them in uh, the winter time and a lot in the summertime, especially for snakes and things of that nature. You can buy the, the boots or the chaps with the snake proof. Uh, the stuff I have here today is not snake proof, it's just the briar. Uh, really don't want a whole lot of heavy stuff in the line of work we're doing now with uh, tracking and trailing dogs. So I bought the uh, pants for this session. Uh, the bottom is pretty thick. I think it's the 1000. And then the top is your normal 450 like on the jackets and the bibs and stuff like that. The zippers are super heavy duty, the YKK zippers. They're uh, very durable. I wore these pants several times since I've had them already and haven't really had any issue with them. The only issue I have is, it says they're size 32 and they're a little bit tight. I usually wear a 31, 30 different, just depends. 33 is too big, but uh, they still fit. They're just a little snug. Um, they're pretty hot in the summertime, but it beats being cut all to pieces and have your clothing ripped up. I enjoy the being able to just slide, you know, slide these things on over a pair of shorts or something. And go. The pants are really high quality made. All the, all the uh, stress points are riveted. So your pockets on the front and back, you have your normal pockets like a pair of blue jeans or work pants. The seams are riveted pretty good and sturdy. Um, has all your belt loops like normal. Usually when I put these things on, I don't have nothing in my pockets. I just go with it. I didn't buy the waterproof version. These are the water resistant version. The waterproof version would be a little bit hotter. Usually by the time you get done running this stuff anyways, you're sweating so bad, it doesn't really matter. The uh, This here is the shirt. They call it a shirt. It kind of looks like a jacket. People think it's a jacket. But the back of it has the air ports for breathing. Non-insulated. It's thin. Definitely will protect you with the briars. We, I took it this weekend and literally you can dive face first in this stuff and it will not come through this. It has the buttons on the ends, front of this button up, has some pockets on the front, two, and you have places to hang stuff off of. Sometimes I'll put a, a extra collar or something here, hang it off of it, snap it in place. I'll hang my e-collar, um, remote off the front of it on these tabs here and we're doing work I guess for uh, coon hunting and things of that nature you can hang off your uh, coon squall and all that stuff off the front of them maybe run a cord through it or something depending this is also the water resistant version it's not the waterproof version I think total shipped I got the pants and the shirt for $139, I believe. I didn't really do a whole lot of shopping around. I just jumped on the first one and had it sent here in order to get it pretty quick because it was getting pretty ate up with the briars and stuff in the heels here. This does not have the place for the additional hood. If you buy the jackets, I'm pretty sure most of those have the buttons for the different types of hoods you can put on them. And the jackets are waterproof with the bibs also. If you're running extra collars, like I said earlier, you can strap these in here. If you're running beagles or rabbit dogs, or excuse me, uh, coon dogs, you can also attach different collars to switch out if you have one running low or something. Pockets are pretty deep. Put that Dr. E collar transmitter in there be able to button it. Here's sort of the comparison to the bottom part of these pants, the 1000. It's a lot thicker than just your normal 450, I believe what this is. It's much thicker, so you're able to withstand a lot harsher brush. I haven't had any issue with the normal stuff. 
especially on my arms or uh, stomach, things of that nature. This is really nice for the really thick stuff. You can just dive right into it, like I said earlier. Stansbrier Pro, check them out.